Shalom. If you hate it when corporations try to co-opt your culture, you're gonna love today's episode. I'm sorry to the Jewish people. <laughs> you're gonna be saying that a lot this episode. <laughs> Welcome back to Laugh Cry DIY. I am your host, Katie, and I am not Jewish, but today I have a very special guest who is. Hi, I'm Rachel, and I'm Jewish. That's right, Rachel is back on the channel. You guys all wanted it, and here I am. 50% <laughs> of my subscribers subscribed after seeing the makeover we did for Rachel's Kitchen. So Rachel, what are we doing on the channel today? So today we're gonna make some Hanukkah crafts that um, actually matter um, and would be nice to receive maybe if you know a Jewish person in your life uh, because I've seen in the media and at my local marshals a lot of Hanukkah merch that quite frankly Katie doesn't make sense. Jewish elves, Jewish Christmas trees, as well as Jewish snowflakes. So today I think we're crafting um, not only on behalf of uh, Jews who do enjoy shopping at Marshalls and TJ Maxx, <laughs> but also in memory of my bubby. My Judaism is most important to me through my grandma, my bubby, who you very kindly made a very sweet altar for that we're looking at right now. Flashback here. <laughs> and being Jewish was really important to her and so it's also really important to me to carry on the tradition um, you know, of being a woman who saves a lot of twisty ties. <laughs> and so I think today we're gonna get into a little bit of the history of the holiday. So you can go into the world, unlike major corporations, <laughs> and know how to talk to Jewish people around Hanukkah. But before we do, I think we should switch into something a little bit more comfortable. I think so too. You don't need to wear these while you craft, but I do highly encourage it. They are winter silks nightgowns, gifted to me by my grandma. So for today's first craft, we are going to make the most basic craft ever, a dreidel. Because dreidel, 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 I made it out of clay. Air dry clay specifically. Every year for Hanukkah, we would get a dreidel, like a plastic dreidel and chocolate gelt, which is essentially a gambling game for young children. For kids. <laughs> Getting a handcrafted dreidel is really special. So the way you do a dreidel is you start by making a cube. You do need to make one end pointed. And I did bring this little ruler in case you want to flatten out. Just spank it kind of on all four sides. Naughty Hanukkah, everybody. <laughs> so why is the dreidel associated with Hanukkah? Um, great question, Katie. No one really knows. Top games have been played by many tribes for centuries and centuries. But you know, everything I'm learning about a dreidel is just coming from a website right now. I've gotten a little bit of a bottom. I, I, I made it an angry bird. Now is the time for any of Katie's Jewish subscribers to sound off in the comments. And if you're working with air dry clay, guess what? It starts to dry. So you can just add a little bit of water, bring her back. I just want to show you guys that I've drilled a small hole in, my, in the top of my top. And I'm going to put a, my stem, what would you call this? The spinning mechanism? Um, in here and I think just apply a little water to seal it up So we're getting somewhere Katie on the other hand has turned hers into a rectangle You know has a little nip with a shelf. Okay, there you go. I think we got it. I made a strawberry basically So Katie's running to the bathroom um, because she thought it would be fun to wear blue eyeshadow um, But she got it all over her hand and now it's all over her face So she's cleaning it up and I need to clean up her dreidel because she is once again tried to cut off the bottom and reshape it. And folks, at a certain point, you're just gonna wanna let these be as lumpy as they are. All right, we're gonna smooth them all out now with a little water, just take a little hit. So these are our final results. I'm starting to paint a dreidel. You can make these whatever color you want. Um, I'm going with this beautiful blue, and then on yours, unfortunately, and I can't believe we're gonna do this on the channel, we're doing a, a minimalist gold leaf dream. Looking beautiful. Thank you. How's the dreidel looking? <laughs> I'm about to go in on this gold leaf glue to put these beautiful Hebrew letters onto our gambling pieces. They are Nun, Shin, Gimel, and Hay. 
So I'm gonna start on this and see how long it takes me to cry. So I've laid down the glue in the shape of the nun, which means that you would get nun. And now I'm gonna apply the gold leaf to it, which is very scary. Press it over it. There, and press hard. Press hard, hard, hard. <laughs> this is my impression of Katie. Moment of hell. Okay, so. <laughs> So instead of trying to get the letters onto the dreidel with gold leaf, we're simply going to gold leaf the piece in its entirety. It's just whatever sticks, which is what we've learned. See, it is kind of coming, it's kind of artful. Dreidels for West Elm. Yeah, 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 yeah. We did have a gestalt about the dreidel. We weren't using the glue adhesive for the gold leaf. We were using the sealer. we have a beautiful kind of abstract um, moment as a result, so. Happy accidents. <laughs> Yay. We decided instead of uh, painting the letters, we might do um, strips of rhinestones. And how is our dreidel looking? Um, really cute, I'm, I'm very happy with it, actually. It's time for our $200 dreidel <laughs> to make its debut at West Elm. Oh, I outlined all of the letters on here uh, in an attempt to help me save save me from myself. Not bad. Not bad. No crying. Oh, no tears yet. The day is still young. This turned out not totally effed up, except that one. And now we are ready for craft number two. We have seen among the terrible merch that has been out there, throw pillows with fun Hanukkah sayings, such as this one. Why is this night different from all other nights? Happy Hanukkah. Is there any problem with that, Rach? The only problem with that, Katie, is that those are two different holidays. Why is this night different from all other nights is something that's said during the holiday of Passover. Basically saying that is trick or treat, Jesus is risen. <laughs> So Rach and I thought it would be fun to jazz up her place with some Hanukkah themed pillows and I've personally been working on some fun sayings that I thought would be good. John and Kate plus eight crazy nights. Um, I think it should just say that shit stayed lit. Menorah. I hardly know her. <laughs> live and let latke. Yeah, live, like, live, laugh, latke. Maybe we don't have the best ideas, but we were thinking of doing a traditional Jewish saying and kind of going back to the source, the text, the origin story of Judaism, which is Bubby phrases. So two really important phrases that I think Bubby would want me to pass along to all of you and to Katie, um, the first of which is always save the receipt because she loved to return things. And the second most important phrase that I think she would want me to pass along is put it in the freezer. She froze everything. Rachel actually found these nightgowns in the freezer. <laughs> and that's why they stayed so crisp. So here we have a standard size pillowcase and we are going to make these statement pillows with uh, bright graffiti fabric markers. All right, and now I'm just folding them over and we're just gonna cut on the line between them. This is where I would always cut it um, crookedly. And we're just drawing a straight little line so that we can stitch it up easy peasy. Doing that on both sides. So I actually took a piece of masking tape and I equally measured out the tick marks and I'm gonna kind of like tape it on so that I know at least freehand the spacing of the letters. Cause I was just going to um, what we professionally call free ballets. And we put a bag in between the uh, the thing so that you don't Because I'm a through. messy bitch who lives for drama. <laughs> I'm gonna put a nice cursive always over here because um, if there isn't cursive on a pillow, is it really a pillow? These are the colors we're choosing from today. Just so you can see. Right, Rach is killing the multi-font. Multi-font lifestyle. Look, cute. Fun. Oh, there's one thing you need to add though. I can't, I can't legally add it. Oh God, Katie, I can't even watch you fix this. <laughs> I'm not gonna cry, but please know dear viewer, that I'm deeply upset with myself. <laughs> now the witch has to correct the Jews for him. One time I was talking to Bubby 
And I said something about the word shiksa, which is a non-Jewish woman. Um, and I thought that this was just like a thing that we called people. And when I said the word, she said, you never say that word. And I was like, oh no, I've been calling Katie that word <laughs> for decades now. And apparently it's quite derogatory. So obviously this looks super fun, but we want to jazz it up a little bit more. It looks too boring and plain. And thank God I have this beautiful gold trim. So we're actually going to put this trim on the sides and we're going to sew it on. It's going to be great. I'm going to work on adding tassels to this second pillowcase. And I have some pre-made ones, but we are going to make two new ones and I'm going to teach you how to create tassels. Welcome to making tassels with Katie. It's very easy. You just need yarn or maybe some embroidery thread, whatever you, material you wanna make your tassel out of. And you're gonna get a piece of cardboard that is as long as you want your tassel to be. You start wrapping your tassel somewhat loosely and you wanna be able, basically you wanna be able to pull this all off of the card once you do it. So I'm literally wrapping this like a billion times. Pinch this together, but slide it off. See how we have this little thing here? We're gonna cut it off there. And I'm gonna cut a little extra piece because this is gonna be tied around the head of it. You pinch the top of that and you tie this around it. See how you have the top and the bottom? And then you just take your scissors and you cut through the bottom. And look, you have a cute little tassel. All right, we have all of our beautiful, cute little tassels sewn on and now is the best part, polyfill. Beginning to look a lot like snow, I don't know. That's I should have made this hole bigger, oh well. That's what she said. <laughs> and we are moving on to craft number three. Rach, would you like to explain what we're doing with this jar? Yeah, Katie, today we're traditionally making a gelt holder. That's not a real thing. It's not a real thing. And what is gelt? So gelt are the little chocolate coins that you may see at grocery stores um, that you win when you play with a dreidel. So we're gonna take this lovely little glass vase and decoupage it with this, yes, wrapping paper I saved from another gift. <laughs> Rach lifts weights, so I'm genuinely gonna make her open that because it's very hard. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh! So I am just gonna start decoupaging I did pitch making this jar and then writing on it, there's some gelt in this house. But I felt that that might be problematic. So <laughs> we do have these cute little sticker rhinestone trim that Rachel really liked and wanted to put on. And it, this is her day, so. It's my eight day. Her day. <laughs> you can just follow the straight line. It's already messed up. How is it already goofed? Look, these are above and this is below. I've managed to finish off the top part of our gelt jar and now Katie's asked if we want to do the bottom and I said emotionally I cannot. So Katie's gonna drive. <laughs> We've taped this down for now because you know, whatever. Oh, and automatically <laughs> it is level. Ah! All right, you don't get to see it until the final reveal. You can't imagine what it's gonna look like. Well, friends, we have crafted, we have cleaned, we've stuffed, we've sewed, and now I think it's officially time for your big Jewish wedding. Well, friends, that was today's episode. Sound off in the comments. Um, on a scale of <laughs> one to oy vey, what do you think about the crafts? Yeah. <laughs> I think these were really cute crafts. I think that Bubby would love to receive these pillows. All right, well, until next time, happy Hanukkah. Mazel tov. <laughs>